Hey guys, this is Squiddy Vaughn, and welcome to Dot Game TV. In this video, I wanted to talk about some new details recently released about Bethesda's upcoming game Starfield, which will be released in November later this year. Bethesda has been fairly slow with their information drip concerning the new sci-fi RPG, so be sure to hit the subscribe button so you don't miss any new Starfield updates or content in the future. Throughout several of the trailers and developer commentary videos Bethesda has put out concerning Starfield, we've seen plenty of images and even a little in-game audio of a robot named Vasco. Hello, Captain. How may I be of assistance? A new video released by Bethesda this week has given us a ton of new details of this mechanical companion. In Bethesda's latest update, lead artist Istvan Paley said, quote, We're excited to introduce you to one of our favorite companions in the game, Constellation's very own expeditionary robot, Vasco. As an early model built by Lunar Robotics, Vasco was refurbished to meet the requirements of Constellation's mission. He's a utilitarian, heavy industrial machine well suited to the rigors of space travel. Vasco's design is based on a standard Type A bipedal chassis, capable of traversing rough terrain along with all survival gear and payload capacity needed for extended overland journeys. Vasco does have defensive capabilities should the need arise, but his primary role is peaceful. He wears the white and red livery of Constellation, though many years in the field have worn the paint and dented a few panels. But he is still the reliable companion that an intrepid explorer, like yourself, can depend on. So Istvan's statement here confirms a ton of new details about our robotic friend Vasco and his purpose in the game. Isfan said Vasco was an expeditionary robot, which implies that Vasco isn't going to be rooted to a specific location, but instead will be a companion that can join you in a large variety of locations. We also learned that Vasco isn't the newest robot on the block, and is a refurbished unit for an early model built by Lunar Robotics, and was tailored to the requirements of Constellation's mission. This all but confirms there are going to be plenty of other robots in the game, plenty of which are newer and possibly more sophisticated. My guess is that Bethesda chose to make Vasco a quote, early model to ensure Vasco is at least fairly unique and there aren't hundreds of Vascos walking around all over the game, but we'll have to wait until the game is released to find out. Isfahn describes Vasco as a utilitarian, heavy industrial machine, which pretty much matches the overall look of the robot from the images that we've seen so far. Users on the Starfield Reddit were quick to point out the similarities between robots as they exist today and Vasco, and I've gotta say the commitment to detail and realism are on full display here, and I can only hope the rest of the game asset design will follow this standard. It's pretty awesome. In the video, Istvan also mentioned that Vasco will be able to carry things, which, as a gamer who is usually terrible at maintaining my character's inventory, this sounds like a very welcome feature. He also confirms that Vasco will have weapons, but his primary role is peaceful. We don't know yet just how strong Vasco is defensively, but machines are usually pretty formidable, and I can't wait for potential robot wars. It's good to know while I'm off exploring the cosmos that my metal companion will have my back and is willing to light up any attacking enemies. Speaking of being off exploring, with the latest video, Bethesda may have actually leaked more information on just how we may go about exploring in Starfield with a Bethesda Asia account leaking some details about spaceflight. When translated, the Bethesda Asia Vasco post gives us an additional detail about Vasco that didn't come up in the English language accounts. Quote, although he is a robot, he is also your shipmate and can help you fly the ship. While the details are still vague, this post does point to flyable ships in Starfield, but whether that means manual spaceflight, elite dangerous, or no man's sky style still remains to be seen. I'm definitely hopeful it will be something more than, hey Vasco, take me to Aquila City, followed by a fast travel. All in all though, Vasco is a really cool first glimpse at an important game character, and the detail and realism of it all gets me incredibly excited for what's still to come. I'd love to hear what you guys all think of Vasco. Be sure to leave me a comment and let me know if you plan on using Vasco as a primary companion or how you think robots will be in Starfield. Make sure to subscribe to the channel and be sure to let me know if there are other topics you'd like me to cover in future videos. That's all for now guys, I'll be back again soon with another Starfield video. Stay tuned. This is Squiddyvon and this is .GameTV.